I've been watching a few of the senior movies on Amazon, and one thing that ties them together is the absence of illusion that comes with growing older. In the one I was watching last night, the man says to the woman, I like you, in talking about marriage. Gone is the illusion of love, half created by surging hormones. Nearing death has always been associated with the falling away of illusions. Now is the time for our aging country to also shed its illusions. In my 30s and 40s, when I was reading all those books, articles in psychology and psychoanalysis, I fail to recognize the giant role illusion plays in mental illness and dysfunction. Becoming sane is really all about living life without illusions about yourself and the world. There are no saviors, no mothers or fathers or authority figures who will save you, no perfect other people, lovers or friends who can make it all better. Slowly, with experience, we learn that and shed our illusions. It is illusions that are creating the dysfunction in our world. The terrorists have the illusion of going to heaven and knowing and doing their God's will. Their illusions are centered on dominating the world or winning a better life in heaven through acts of violence. The elites in our country have the illusion of a new world order, safe for commerce, capitalism, that can be created with programs of repression like government gang stalking and continuous war to create groupthink, a, homo a hom homogeneous world. The crazies, gang stalkers, have the illusion that they can control other people and the world, force its values on them, and then everything will be well, consistent with their illusions of how things should be. Growing up, becoming mature, is all about shedding illusions. I heard another news person on CNN say she has lost faith in humanity, a common theme today when there seems to be no good countries anymore, when a percentage of the exceptional country that is supposed to be the world's greatest moral force gang stalks. That illusion with the human race that so many people are feeling today, that, excuse me, that disillusionment with the human race that so many people are feeling today is a good thing. It is the start of growing up. It leads to creating strong checks and balances when we no longer trust our government or our intelligence industrial complex. It leads to greater oversight of our military industrial complex so millions don't disappear in war, so we stop embedding reporters with troops and make them objective observers who can tell us what is really going on. It leads to creating better checks and balances on our police and with our gangs. Uh, and with gang stalking, even our firemen and ambulance drivers and security guards, because we realize humanity, all humanity, is deeply flawed. Shedding our illusions make us, makes us stop looking for that Donald Trump who is going to save us and make us number one again. Stop, stop relying on mommy and daddy substitutes, authorities, leaders who will make it all better. Giving up illusions will mean realizing this life is it. We are all going to die. The lights will go out for each and every one of us forever, which is only scary if you believed in the illusion, the narrative of a separate self. Yes, giving up illusions is the first step in creating a better world. Let us, in our new year, make a resolution to find our illusions wherever they may be and give them up. Sadness will be the consequence, the sadness that comes with the loss of the innocence of childhood. But that is the price of growing up and accepting reality without illusions.